What does extremist technology do? We um, design shelters for some of the world's most vulnerable people. So our market is typically humanitarian and development. Um, we, our vision is to house people after events which cause displacements, whether that's political displacement or meteorological displacement. And we have a number of products which all spawn from the same IP and the same design. And those products are to deal quickly and robustly with very vulnerable people who need to be put into a secure home. How did the company get started? Um, we started by attracting seed investment in 20, the end of 2012. Um, and from that seed investment, we were able to um, grow the business sufficiently to attract further investment. We attracted SCIS investment. And um, from that investment, we were able to build prototypes, um, form collaborations with other charities and businesses, because collaborations are key in terms of growing the business. And um, so we're now in a position where we're taking our prototypes to ADEX this week in Brussels to um, present them in, in situ to um, the humanitarian and developing development um, audience. So a relatively short life, what stage would you say the company is now at? I think we're at um, a kind of tangential stage. Um, I don't think any of us expected to have the opportunity to grow so quickly. Um, equally, I think we're at a very challenging stage because we're trying to close our first order. So um, whilst you're pre-revenue, growing the business, you're always looking over your shoulder at the same time, looking at your bottom line. So um, challenging times are very exciting times and we keep very firmly our eye on the vision the vision for our future and what we intend to do. Would it be right to think that in future demand for your product will be driven by the number or scale of disasters around the world? Um, possibly if we've got it right. Um, we would see every um, episode as something that we could learn from. Um, equally though, we do look at private sector opportunities where um, a fast deployment shelter is um, is a need, is a requirement. Um, so, yes, we see our market as growing, but we want to leverage that responsibly because um, it's not about making money out of misfortune. It's about responding and doing something right to allow economic growth elsewhere. So what is it going to take, or what would you like to happen to enable your business to grow and reach its full potential? Um... It would be nice if things were just easier on a day to you know daily basis in terms of it would be it would be really amazing if um, some of the agents who are here to help you know funds governments if they actually really could understand how difficult it is to grow an early stage business how um, difficult is it what problems have you encountered um, you kind of um, with early stage businesses you kind of swing from elation to despair kind of within 24 hours and you have to learn to be quite kind of resilient about that and um, you can't you focus on the positive and then you learn from the negative and then gradually net net you move forward have you heard anything at the CBI conference today that's encouraged you yes I it was an absolute joy to be with those panelists because all of their businesses are further forward than ours and um, some of their advice and just some of their experiences I can relate to so tangibly um, about export not losing your head over export opportunities and something that we all share in common and we all said it when we sat back, back down in our seats it's resourcefulness and tenaciousness which bring us together even though our businesses are so diverse so that was really interesting yeah